Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally getting the chance to paint a jewel bee. I was inspired by this bug uh, when I was looking through Cricut Design Space for my Cricut cutting machine. And I wanted to make one, but I wanted to make it a Rachel's Rocks jewel bee instead. I'm so excited to be painting with you again. And I know you can't really tell what I'm doing right now because the pencil doesn't show up well on camera on this color of stone. But you're going to see what it looks like very, very soon. I'm just kind of sketching on what I believe I saw and what has inspired me. Um, but we're going to do the same thing that I've done before when I do a jewel stone or even a jelly fly. Um, where the parts of the jelly or dragonfly look like little jelly beans. Um, we're going to do the center of our bumblebee um, a jewel. So it's going to be a bright yellow jewel. And then the wings are going to be like chrome powder and Swarovski crystals. So uh, you're going to be able to see the shape of the bee. I should write a song. I'm kidding. You guys don't have to leave. Hit the like button. <laughs> I have missed you. Uh, you're going to see what this looks like way, way better in a moment. And then I'm going to paint some stuff in black now that I'm doing my gold. Um, if you want to use the same exact colors that I'm using, if you want to get a fine lining brush like the one I'm using, um, everything you need to know is in the description of this video. And that's right below. Scroll down. Um, it will it will say see more or um, keep uh, keep going or there's like little uh, little dots that you three little dots that you can click on or even a down arrow depending on what device you're using. Um, I leave everything you need to know in the description and a bunch of tutorials in there too, like how to resin. Um, I have links to the resin that I use, links to all the stuff I'm using on my rocks. Don't forget to check them out. So I'm also going to list in this video description um, how to get to my Etsy shop and how to get to my Facebook page because you can see everything I've done and everything I sell um, all on on these places, different pages, different social media pages. Uh, I'm also on Instagram. It's uh, Rachel's Rocks 11 if you want to add me. So I'm filling in some black. This rock is going to turn very dark when I resin it, um, but it's still not going to be pitch black. There's going to be some um, background design that you can see which is going to be the natural stone but this part here I want to cover it with black that way it's just a pure black background to work with and uh, we're going to make it look real special. Now the center jewel area you guys have seen me do this before I've done a base coat of white. I painted it on first to get it like in a circular trying to keep my circle <laughs> you can use a lid or or you don't have to use a compass just find a circle to work with um plastic lids in your cupboards a glass the bottom of a glass a shot glass uh this one is a is not the size of a shot uh, a regular drinking glass i'll tell you <laughs> but if you can find like a shot glass that would probably be good size depending on the size of stone you're working with so now that I've got everything that I want outlined with gold, I erased all my pencil marks that I don't want to keep and I let it dry first before I do that. I've outlined everything in gold and now I'm going to use my fine lining brush and I'm just going to get some nice moon yellow in here. I went uh, around the edge, only part of it. I'm only, I'm only doing part of it. You can see that um, because the other part where I left it white, that's actually got to stay white because we're going to smudge it and smudge it and sponge it and sponge it and dab it and sponge it until it looks like a jewel. So I'm going to list in the description of this video my other jewel stone videos. That way it, it can help you because I haven't really spent a whole lot of time showing you here. Um, it's all about the blending. 
It's all about the sponge. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's for sure what you need is a sponge. I'm using Martha Stewart sponge daubers, but you can use any sponge. You can use finger sponges from Amazon. Uh, I have a bunch of those too, and I don't know what I'd do without them. I'm finding my circle again in gold. I apologize. I do it, I do it many times. <laughs> and in the end, it doesn't even look like a circle anymore, but I still love it. I still love the way it looks, and it makes me happy. So I have my jewel. It's almost there. It kind of looks like a like a crystal ball, but it's yellow. <laughs> it's an apple juice colored Christmas ball. And not a Christmas ball. Crystal ball. What is wrong with me? I'll tell you what's wrong with me, you guys. This tutorial was supposed to go out like a week ago. And the reason it wasn't is because my kids went back to school. Here, I was thinking I was going to be able to pop out this tutorial for you guys right away after the last one, after the dotted otter. But no, my son went to school. First day of school was Thursday. Uh, second day of school was Friday. He came home from school on Friday with a stuffy nose, runny nose. Um, and yeah, he only went to school for two days and then he was off for three, uh, plus the weekend. So mama didn't get to work and mama got nothing done because little, little guy was home. So yeah, that's, that's been, things happen, unexpected things happen. Very fun. Very fun. So he's better. He's great. It wasn't the, the, you know what? It wasn't that. Uh, it was just going back to school and being around other people. And he caught the first little cold sniffly bug that was going around. <sighs> it's been grand. Anyway, I've dotted two areas of the little bum of my bee. You guys can see that. I used the same yellow, same moon yellow. Uh, I left the center stripe black. And I've outlined everything with gold, made sure it looks like I want it to. And now I'm going to freehand some design in the wings. These are little wishbones over top of dots. And I did do a little line already. Uh, you can see where the wishbones are attached to. There's like a line that's going to be striped very soon, little pinstripes. I did bigger gold dots, which I'm going to let dry, and then I'm going to do black dots in the center of those. And right now I'm just thinning out, thinning it out a little bit. I want it to be a little more intricate because it's wings, right? So I'm going to try and keep my gold lines thin. So now we have little swoops. So now that looks like a little teardrop attached to wishbones. I don't use technical terms here. Please hit the like button. <laughs> and I have a goofy laugh. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So we have wishbones and then we have tears. And now we have more dots. And you can choose what you want to do. Just try and like do one side and then flip it around and do the other side to try and keep everything even. Um, that's just my, my little bit of advice for you. I'm using my smallest dotting tool. You can use toothpicks for this if you need to. And I'm just like walking the dots, uh, under the bottom of that teardrop, walking the dots. And they're a little bit smaller. They just get a little bit smaller as you run out of paint. Now these, these are triangles, pieces of pizza, everyone. This is pizza. Um, I'm making sure once again to thin out my lines a little bit because I want to keep it kind of intricate. Let your gold dry a little bit before you do that or else you just kind of swirl it around in with black paint. Um, but yeah, you can always go back and fix everything once it's dry. It's, it's a lot easier to fix once it's dry. So I'm using my small dotting tool again. Like I said, you can use uh, needles. You can use toothpicks. You can use... Anything you can find around your house that'll make a tiny little dot. And I'm just walking those dots down to the edge of the wing. And uh, I'm going from the tips of the little pizza pieces. And then I'm also going to go from the 
in between the pizzas, and I'm going to put little dots down there as well, uh, but not yet. You're going to watch me do pinstripes in this little area first. Pinstripes. I try to do it as even as possible, but nothing is perfect on my rocks. These wings are not even remotely the same size. <laughs> um, so keep that in mind, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's still going to be pretty. Um, so I've got two little eyeballs. And now I've let those gold dots dry. I'm adding my black dots. I'm also going to add black dots on the smaller ones, just the bigger ones on the bottom of the teardrop area. Da -da -da -da. Now I'm going to outline the jewel part. I'm outlining the whole thing actually. Don't go over top of your gold. Make sure you see your gold still, your gold outline, but I'm just outlining the rest with a very fine line of, of black paint. It's not going to be that noticeable because my rock is going to turn really dark. So you're not really going to see my black outline, but it does help it kind of pop off the rock and separate from the rock itself. So this is just me. You don't have to worry about this part because you will see it with the gold outline anyway, but it's just what I do. Making sure that all my lines are thin and delicate looking because this is like a this would be a brooch, okay, you guys? <laughs> now I'm putting a little bit of like gold-colored chrome powder. You guys have seen me use this stuff before. It's normally for nails. Um, I use it with a top coat that a UV uh, light cures, but I also use it without, which is what I'm doing now. And then I put some uh, triple thick glaze over top of it to hold that glitter there. I'm also going to use it with a UV top coat and a light um, but not yet. First, we're going to add some Swarovski crystals. So what I've used is triple thick. Again, the same thing I put on the center jewel area just now. Um, triple thick, I use it as glue as well, just like Mod Podge. You can use it for the same thing. And I just put a little dab in there and then I'm adding my, my little crystals, flat back uh, Swarovskis, just on those circles that we added black and gold or gold and then black first, or afterwards, sorry. Oh my Lord, my mind. I have not had enough coffee today as well. So our crystals are gonna stay there and then we're gonna resin over top of them so they are not going anywhere. They're not gonna budge. Now I'm using UV top coat that is for nails as well, but I have no rules here of what I put on my rocks. So we're gonna cure this. It's like a clear top coat, clear nail polish, but you need a little UV light to cure it. I'm curing it for a minute and 20 seconds, just so I know it's like super cured. Um, and then I'm putting that same goldish colored chrome powder that I put on the center jewel. I'm putting it over top and that does a whole different thing. It makes it look chrome, almost like metal. Um, so when you use it with a top coat, it's like metal, and when you use it without a top coat, it looks like very fine sparkling glitter, and it looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna do that uh, just in certain areas. I am gonna keep some stuff just plain old black. I'm not gonna do anything with it, because um, with the chrome and the black and the crystals, it's all gonna come together really, really nice really nice. So here's the finishing touches on the jewel. You got to make it look extra shiny. So you put some white bloops all over it. No technical terms here. And now I'm going to use some top coat again, but this time uh, for the eyes, I'm going to use a holographic powder and that's going to make the eyes look really cool and very different from the wings. You don't want them to be too close to what the wings look like. So everything has its own little part and here we're gonna do some more of those dots, like I said, so that it's just filling in some more of that black space, but not, not too much. It still looks intricate. It looks beautiful. Did you get that? Be beautiful. It's a B. Thank you. I'm here all week. <laughs> Maybe if my kid goes to school. <laughs> now. We're going to play What's at My Desk because the bee is going to be resined. The bee is done. Now it's being resined. So 
Oh, I have some butterfly foam grips. And this other foam grip here has got some colorful seashells. You guys have probably seen that before. I'm just showing you what's still at my desk, okay? <laughs> what is still at my desk. And what else do I have? If you've noticed, here's a balloon dog. That's a cute one. My nail color has changed multiple times throughout this video because of how many times I've had to stop and restart day after day. So please appreciate the time it takes <laughs> to bring you these videos. This is some new uh, paint that I want to do a tutorial with you guys with. It's beautiful. Um, it's like gorgeous. I can't even explain it. Uh, you guys have seen me do seahorses before. This one's a cute one. Had the urge to paint one again. If you guys haven't seen my seahorse tutorial, it is in my video list. Here's a mandala Mickey. Um, that one's really colorful and very sparkly. I love making butterflies, of course, you guys. This is a dotted butterfly with some water droplets and a beautiful mandala stone. Mandala. Mandala. Here's a peacock feather. I always have one of these on the go. I love peacock feathers. They're like my favorite. Are you guys ready? <gasps> Look at the background of the stone. It looks totally different, you guys. And I had to bring it out to the sunshine with my succulents to show you the gorgeousness. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? I love it so much. I hope you guys had fun. I hope that... Uh, this has inspired you and I will see you very, very soon. Love you guys. Bye.